is up guys welcome back to another episode in the Mugen SI series in today's video I actually have a pretty big announcement and that is that I will be moving to Austin Texas I'm super excited for this move um, it's gonna be a pretty big deal for me I'm moving out there for work um, but I will be taking this car with me and with that being said we should be doing some mods to help keep our car safe on the road I've already done all the maintenance that I need to at the moment there's still some stuff to be done the biggest things that I want to do now is to make sure that nothing gets stolen on this car. Uh, the biggest priority being these wheels. This car is pretty rare, as many of you know, um, and these wheels don't come up for sale often. And when they do, they're expensive. So I think the last time I was looking, I saw one wheel on eBay. It was for like $850, which is absolutely crazy. So what I did do is I went ahead and I ordered some OEM wheel locks. And I'll be putting them on all four wheels just so they're safe on this road trip and safe in texas because i will be moving to an apartment complex so i don't know what the parking situation will be so let's go ahead and put these wheel locks on so guys i am pretty excited for this austin move um, i'm a little nervous taking this car for many reasons actually um, it is a used car it does have 128,000 miles it is about a 2,000 mile road trip uh, I will be driving it over the course of five days, uh, but a lot of exciting stuff. I think the other thing that's kind of nerve wracking is will it make the trip? Is it reliable enough? I mean, I've been driving it around for quite some time. It's been good to me so far. A few of the things that I have had issues with, I fixed them so far. Uh, the biggest one right now is I don't have AC, so this road trip will be killer. Another thing I am a little worried about is all these Mugen parts. This car is pretty rare. The majority of these parts, they're kind of like held onto the car by nuts and bolts. So if people do want to steal them, um, people will. I know when these cars first came out, people were stealing parts left and right. I'll attach some pictures showing that, but people were stealing these emblems. These are like $300 each. The lip, I don't even think you could get those anymore. So that's like a thousand bucks. The wheels is what I'm most concerned about. You can't even get these wheels anymore. Um, even though mine are pretty beat up, I would not like my wheels stolen, especially on a road trip. But I think I saw a set on eBay and it was like $850 for just one wheel. So definitely want to protect these. Side skirts, another Mugen exclusive. Those can get ripped off. As you can see, this fell off. I was lucky enough to find the, the center cap overlay. Um, and then obviously the wing, I don't want people stealing that as it's hard to get. And then we have the, the Mugen diffuser, which hopefully no one steals. And then the Mugen exhaust, which I don't think anyone will be stealing. Sports suspension, no one will be stealing. The limited edition Mugen badge, which no one will be stealing as well. Um, so let's just go over here, take a look at these wheel locks I got. I got these from College Hill Honda on eBay. I checked my local dealership. It was about $70 at my local dealership. So I was like, you know what? You're a stealership, not a dealership. So I went on eBay, found these for like $30 shipped with tax. So let's put these on. Here's the part number if anyone's interested. Got my impact, 19 millimeter impact socket. Got the key. This is gonna be crucial for tightening these and removing these in the future. 19 millimeter socket to torque it with my torque wrench to 90 foot pounds. I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod and start removing the old lug nuts from each wheel. We're just gonna take one off of each and then put the new one on and hopefully secure this car. All right, so now that I got all four lug nuts off, one of the things I don't like is that they didn't make a, a Mugen specific wheel lock kit. Um, so the color is not the same and it's kind of gonna look odd on the wheel having like a, one of these when everything else is like kind of color matched the wheel. Um, but my plan here is I'm gonna get these wheels refinished uh, once I get new tires. So in that time, I am going to get these powder coated as well so let's go ahead put these on the car and hopefully secure my car now
You know, I was pretty excited about this move until about right now. I got this wheel lock on and this absolutely looks terrible. This is one of those function over form type of things, which I'm kind of a fan of, but not a fan of over in this situation. But you know what? Sometimes we just have to deal with what life throws our way and find solutions. So I'm gonna leave these on for now. They're gonna get powder coated once I get the wheels refinished, once I get new tires, um, but it's safe for the drive. Hopefully, hopefully no one has the same key pattern as I do. I'm just gonna get my torque wrench and torque these down, and then uh, we can talk a little bit about the move. All right, so got my key on. I'm just gonna get my torque wrench. Uh, I like to torque my wheels down to 90 foot pounds. Just gonna get put this on and start torquing away. Um, and you can see why it's so important to uh, use a torque wrench because this is pretty heavy and I'm only at 33 foot pounds. So let's torque these down and uh, we're pretty much done here. All right, guys, so I'm sure I've mentioned it a million times. I am moving to Austin. I am moving for work. Just putting all this stuff in this little baggie that was given in my set. Um, since I am moving for work, I don't really have many friends in the Austin area. Um, so I am looking forward to meeting people out there, checking out the car scene, hopefully make a bunch of friends. So if anyone is local to Austin that watches these videos, please definitely give me a shout out in the comments uh would love to meet some of you guys um definitely do some cruises maybe do some rural racing on the highways obviously in mexico since austin's pretty close um but yeah it would be cool to meet some like-minded people definitely chill with some people see if there's any other mugens out in austin and take it from there but that's pretty much it for today's videos guys um got that on Hopefully no issues on this road trip. I'm gonna definitely pack this in the car in case anything does happen. Um, but I'm excited to move out there. And if any of you guys are out there, I'm excited to see you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe this video. And as always, peace.